Hey guys, Rusake here, and welcome back to Iridus, Lord of the Dead. So, in the top right, you may notice the uh, symbol being a bit different. It says Wrath of the Necromancer. Or, yeah, that's what I meant to say. I don't know. I don't know what I meant to say. But either way, one of our dear friends and viewers of the channel, Smuckum, gifted us the DLC for the game. So, thank you so much for that. Um, I don't know if our save is going to be immediately compatible or if we need to make another game to get the dlc content i'm just not sure really oh yawn but we will figure it out okay, and we were saving up for the less wrath cost so hold on let me let me all tab i know extremely professional youtuber uh had his uh everything pulled up automatically it was very very convenient everybody was proud of him because he definitely planned this out and he didn't just hit the record button a little too quickly we all know the vibes um pull up the comments okay so bumble said he would like to be a dark knight, a zombie, or a werewolf. And I don't think... Demand that you name a ghoul after him. Okay, so... A ghoulie boy. But we can name this Bumble. I mean, I don't... I don't necessarily know if we're going to use him immediately, but we'll, we'll name our boy. Hopefully he won't die immediately. Do we actually have a brain to give him? We don't have a brain to give him yet. And uh, before we get too far into it, let's that again so I don't get lost in the sauce. So abomination. War is an eternal mover of progress, especially in the realms of the necromantic. Although Iridus has only recently reemerged onto the stage, he did not waste time or he did not waste any time delving back into his favorite hobby, the creation of minions, both dread and vile. In his malefic pursuits, the arch necromancer had stumbled upon something he did not expect. The power of a new curse, a curse of flesh. Infused into the bodies of those wretches miners by the alchemist and strengthened through sorcerous experiments, their flesh turned out to be infused with so much lingering pain. It took some study, but finally the results are at hand. Grotesque and prut... Oh god, what's that word? Put putrescent? Abomination? Sure. Uh, undead flesh forced to grow and deform over and over until it becomes a grisly engine of war. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh God! Okay, so let's see. We have a physical attack that hits three times. Okay. He's twelve attack until the end of combat. Okay. So it has a self buff. The enemies on the chosen positions and next position in line switch to random positions. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Intimidates all enemies, inspires all allies for two turns. Damn, what a good fucking... What a good skill. Um, marks an ally, redirects 100% of the targeted attacks from the marked ally to the abomination. Okay, interesting. It destroys an enemy that has less than 20 sandy remaining. After receiving damage from this ability, the Abomination receives a buff restoring HP until the end of combat. Bosses and edible minions are immune. Um, now let me alt tab again. Like I said, the most extreme professional useful person you've ever uh noticed. Cool. So we need a ghouly boy. And an abomination. We can do both. Brain. My brain is not wanting to work right now. Have a ghoul unlocked? We don't. Deal 750 damage to your own minions. Interesting. 
don't know why I'd want to do that, but apparently that's a thing. So anyway, me. We'll go ahead and name the Abomination Schmuckum since we have him unlocked. And then we will worry about the other minion some other time. Hook him. Alright, I'm dumb. You know I can't spell. Can't spell, can't read, can't write, can't do anything. Only knows how to meme. Uh, let's go get some good stuff. We got. We have increased the damage dealt to elite enemies by 25%. When receiving damage, the mini gains evasion until the end of combat. It can be stacked five times. That's pretty insane. Minion receives 24 attack and 24 dread when an ally dies. Yo, we could totally make a uh, something fun happen with this. Do we not? I swear we. Oh, he's learning stuff. Yeah, that would work well with the guy who summons his own minions i think we're not even going to be able to really use him until we get that dread buff though what are flask am i crazy what is that um go the evasion thing it just seems useful so am i crazy what 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 are flask have we Does any of this require flask or something that's something new I wasn't aware of. Have I finally gone mad? Oh, potion making. Iridus can use the parts he finds to minimize something in the background so he can actually see that he's recording. But Iridus can use the parts he finds to brew various potions. By combining various parts, you discover recipes that can be used in battle. By using potions, you can enhance one or all minions, weaken enemies, or gain resources. Using uncommon, rare, and legendary parts increases the quality of the potion. Okay. Um, place ingredients. How about a heart? How does this work? Heart? Heart? Oh. A heart. Blood. Dust. Craft. All enemies lose five attack for two turns. Okay. We shouldn't use more because we don't have the parts for it right now, but let me make sure. We don't have any soul. Yeah, we don't have the souls right now. All right, well, that's interesting. I've never seen that. Um, Do we want to take out a new team or do we want to roll with an older team? I feel like we're going to have to use our brains, which is hard. So this moves you forward. You deal two damage or hit two targets. You need to be in the front for this. Dance. Back to, huh? Interesting. Moves you back. Okay. But these are both uh, wrath abilities? <clears throat> Actually, this one isn't. That's just a wrath ability. Huh. So I think the front area is going to be best for you. And it's obvious that the front's going to be the best for um, a melee character like, uh, like Bumble. So we can drop the Skelly and this guy can come in we know that we want to use the support ability there's nothing that's definitely true the only issue i'm seeing not really that many great abilities for him so we might not be able to use him and the zombie he doesn't mind being in the back right not great actually you know what this team doesn't really work we, we would definitely have to swap some stuff out if we wanted to use this kind of team. So let's start with our two new boys. And these will be our front two liners. So we have two extremely high damage guys and we have a defensive guy. So we'll probably swap them like this. I don't think anybody has one. Oh, I lied immediately. He has one that needs to be in the very front. How about you? You can actually, you don't want to be in the very, very front. Though you can move yourself up there if need be. And let's, let's make two more simple boys to go with them. Let's see. The debuffing character, it appears. You know the headhunter is amazing. Um, Ada Wraith? Wraith does stress and magic damage. Stress. Okay, lots of stress. How about a lost soul? Stress attack. A restore. That then deals damage. Uh-uh. 
Magic attack. Yes. Please tell me that you can use something from the back. Nice the target and curses them. Okay. You can remove buffs. So and yeah, not really great either, huh? I'm pretty sure the infested can at least be in the back. And then we can just have one supporter slash debuffer. Oh, no, we can't. All right, well, we can't take the new crew out yet. We need parts, man. I didn't think we were this far behind on parts, but we are. Holy moly. How much time did I waste on accident? I'm really bad at this. 11 minutes. I, we had a lot of stuff to go over. I don't want to hear it. Oh, God. I don't know if we've ever fought this guy before. Can't be moved. Takes up two adjacent positions. We know that the Doomsayer needs to die fast because we know he's extremely dangerous. Why is alive? Oh, less chance to go insane and um, no way to escape. Interesting. So I think we want to start here and kill this guy first. I think this guy's going to be the most important person to kill. I definitely want to interrupt that. Um, let's just let's go into the damage here. Get rid of that block. Once we kill this guy, we can make this one insane because he doesn't have very much um, distance to that. Get a little bit of debuff going because I'm kind of scared of what this guy's gonna do to be real deep. I mean, if we crit, we could kill, I guess. It's probably the best. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Ooh, that's scary. Uh, thank you for being very. Thank you for being a. Uh, how do you say dodgy boy? We can move this guy back to the front. I don't think we're going to be able to interrupt his stance, though, which kind of does straight up just scare me. Yeah. Oh, we could have killed him. I'm dumb. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So... I think this will make both of them skip their turns, which is pretty valuable. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, great, great, great. Um, I think we can kill you with an AOE, and you're skipping your turn anyway. And the headhunter does have a turn beforehand. I think, dude, you are such a big boy. Fantastic. Now let's see. Hopefully this kills. Beautiful. That's what we wanted. Kind of tempting to attempt to make him go insane, but I don't think that's the play. Honestly, I think we just, as dumb as it sounds, and as long as it's gonna take, I think we just beat his ass. Keep him debuffed so he deals slightly less damage. It's still a lot. Okay, seven isn't that bad because he's so tanky, but just imagine if that was on a normal person. That. Oh, retreat. I'm not retreating. What do I look like? Yeah, I'm going to face with that. All right, we we do be bonking on him, though. And we're so close. Um, You think he'll survive that much? I think he will. So let's go ahead and just mark him. Yeah, he can't move out of it anyway, right? So Could catch him on fire. You know what? I will catch you on fire, good sir. Ooh, and a crit. Wow. Keep him. Oh, actually, skip his turn. Yeah. That's way better. Oh, my goodness. Yo, beautiful. Nice. We did lose a little bit of HP there. That sinister strike hurt, but. Fun. Ends, your 
All enemies destroy accuracy until the battle ends. Hey, is that the flesh we needed to craft the boy? Or was it a heart or something we needed? Can't remember. We got another flask as well. And I think we have enough souls to do something. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this. I think this is going to be a good idea to have up and running. And then later. This is going to give us passive experience gain, which is always good. Scrap of significant mortal knowledge down here. It's about as dull as you imagine. Yeah, there we go. Another, another fellow to be welcome to the party. I only want you here because this ability is really good. to evade we could give him this and he could slowly stack up evasion i still don't know who we're gonna want in the back like i don't think yours is, this is the middle that you can use this oh no you can use it from the back yeah we could just have a generic uh stressor back for a bad idea what's the the constant debuff i feel is actually pretty powerful Looks like you can't use Hal because it's always a frontline thing. Is there anyone else who might be slightly better for that? I mean, this is more stress for sure. This could be good too. Kind of evasion to a, a friendly. A lost soul. This This one kind of freaks me out. Because the Lost Soul has a heal, but at the start of the next turn, attacks the chosen ally dealing damage. Attack doesn't spend an action. So you heal them, but then you attack them, like, for the exact same amount. So I don't understand how that's ever good. Oh, sorry about that. I just sneeze. Oh, my lord. I mean, if you did this, this would make sense. Oh god. Dying a little bit. Um press attack. The gain initiative? Interesting. Yeah, I don't really know who I'd want in this last position. If I had another can't miss thing, maybe we could just have an AoE spammer in the back. But other than that, I don't really know who's gonna be the final piece to this puzzle. Like we could tentatively put the zombie there, but it's not very useful. At least we have a secondary team if we need it. I'm, yeah, I'm still not sold. Um, let's take this team up here and get them back up to full HP. I, I think we'll just continue with them along, honestly. As well. So we could technically go left here. Raise up the levels of a minion. Oh my god, that's a long pathway. I don't think we're going to do that. That seems kind of crazy. Let me just go here and get some more souls. Dormant minions, huh? The boss? That is the boss. Alrighty. Well, let's, uh... <laughs> no, no time like the present, I guess. I really like this party. It, it's hard for me to pull away from them. I mean, obviously we're eventually going to, but... but all these guys have weak mentals, except for this lady. I think this is the lady that kills people. Her, she kills her own friends or something to gain massive buffs. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, each time she sees, gets damaged. Kind of insane. It's actually really, really powerful. I'm going to just do this, and we're going to guarantee this kill. I think unless it, unless she uses her thing where she actively gets the kill, I don't think she gets powered up. But I do know this is her, like, shtick. It's her thing. I don't really want to AoE them down for that exact reason, so let's just focus on killing you next. This is fine. Debuff is always good. I think if they're low HP, she may just kill them. So hopefully we just kill them before she gets a chance to. Oh, he's crazy. Cray cray. 
Uh, less accuracy, less initiative. Evasion, chance to skip turn. Get over the head. Look at it! Ow. That's actually a lot of damage. Ooh, insane already, huh? Ooh, another good one, too. Fantastic. And we can make them both skip their turns. Ah, damn. They missed because the lowered accuracy. So that's something. I think we want to kill her first. She is a lot more deadly than him. I mean, with this... The odds of him really causing us issues, I think, are kind of low. But I feel like you waste so much extra stress if you don't do this. But 8-8 eight, eight on him. Good. And R and Jesus. Oh, maybe dead, good sir. Yep, very dead. Breathless tide. Extraordinarily dead. Good turn. Oh, thirty-three percent chance to skip turn. Nice. Uh. Perish. Crit. Pay attention to that. Go in the head. Beautiful. Easy fight. A sad display from Hey, we got some green bony boys and some more souls. We should we should invest these souls. Actually, we got so many good things. Okay, first things first, go ahead and grab that. Now we can use wrath story. abilities more. It's very important. Um, uh, 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 um. Now we level up a new ability. I do. We could make this a double stressor instead of a single stressor. Or we could move a random person. We don't really ever get to use this ability. He's okay. Let's lose all armor resistance or lose all blocks and wards. I kind of think we just upgrade our AoE ability, right? It's set to a 3% chance to immediately kill an enemy. It's not amazing, but I don't think we're going to use this, unfortunately. Because this makes it into a random ability. That's a lot of damage, though, man. But we lose our AoE, and I like our AoE combo with the Bride. It allows us, if need be, to absolutely crush. We could always look at it like this and just get extra luck, really. Yeah, let's just get the extra attack. Get back to battle. A battle. And grab some more attack just because we're stacking it up. Not use bones. Does anybody here use the bony boys? The bride does. Kind of feel bad though, because the bride already has like her. It's already kind of set. We could give the bones to Bumble, but I really don't want to invest into our secondary team till we get a brain to make one of them like a little bit of a carry. Because we should be getting a brain pretty soon if we're lucky, right? We could do this and just make her nigh unkillable, right? If she's the last one alive, can she do stuff? Oh yeah, she can. You know what? You will become near invulnerable eventually it'll take some slaps you'll get there you still have to choose another ability for you rarely use that gains evasion in the stance ignores armor your buff or ear to spell power buff Target can't move for two rounds that's kind of interesting ignores ward so now this is super duper interesting to me, but I was kind of thinking this one for the crit. Go into the crit. I, I don't know if it's the right play, but like, it's not bad. And how far are we on 
We need six for that, and this one only gives two more. All right, we'll hold on to it for now. Let's keep going. I really want to find a brain. Um, so we could like heavily. Oh, we can't. I lied immediately. Son of a beasting. Is there anything we haven't built? I guess we haven't built this. Can't find a random artifact. That's probably actually worth it too. Go ahead and make us another banshee. We do be kind of spamming our uh, our people though. I, I am noticing that. We've been making a lot, a lot of a lot of people. Everything created now is just upgrades, which are all 50 for the secondary stack, I think. So I'm content to occasionally give it the pat on the tentacle. Let's go like let's just oh try something. Let's try some try some blood let's try a skull what's the next thing we had the most of a tough skull will this make anything something is wrong heck weapon i get something useful it's not worth it i don't want to do it but i'm doing it all enemies lose five vigor bosses minus one percent of their maximum vigor and standing whatever all right let us continue we have two madmen and a giant yikes so we definitely want to kill people fast here uh this could be really bad hopefully it's not but it could be all right that up want to try to get this guy dead as quickly as possible go ahead and bring him to the front hi good sir welcome to the party pal Buff up. Oh, he missed, really? It only hit one person, so that's not too bad. Ah. Nice 20 accuracy. Oh, he drove himself insane. We With that lower accuracy, we could actually even lie, but I think he might die here. Yo, it works. Hell. <laughs> As a wise man once said, Owie. Stop it. Could die. Actually guaranteed dead. Wow. Well, unless we missed. Unless we have a skip turn, which we don't. I think we just try to keep the debuff on him. Yeah, there we go. We're using much more reasonable. And uh, do we want to try to kill him with insanity or HP? Technically, his... We'll go insane faster if we can deal the damage fast enough. I hear you, little Frederick. He's yelling at me. He's like, Dad, love me! I require love! I probably should have went with the turn skip. Oh, you critting bitch. That's fair. I'm not happy about it, but that is fair. The itty bitty critty committee. We definitely should have went with the turn skip, by the way, and I do re I do regret everything. If we're lucky, he'll die. I guess not really a should. We can't move him, so it doesn't really make sense to use that. He doesn't have block either, so. Okay, come on. Let's murder this guy so he doesn't murder us. Yes, sir. Soon this world will be mine. Oh, there's our oh y'all. <laughs> Look at all that good stuff though. About it. Okay, so now these people have skills to level up. I don't really know what I want to do here. I was kind of thinking about just leveling up our attack, to be honest with you. This is higher base. This is higher from his defense. I plan on stacking defense on this guy, so it definitely makes sense to me. You almost never get to use this because he's never in the back. And there are chances he could be moved, but 
I think we just go either this or we go with something that goes some defense. Actually, he doesn't have anything else that goes some defense. I think we just go with this, which is weird because it's just two percent evasion, which seems kind of like borderline useless, and I kind of feel bad about even putting a point into. You. But whatever. I've seen worse things. I am pretty tempted to give you a bit more resistance. Or, you know what, let's just do it this way. Okay. Go ahead and upgrade the dread a bit more. It just makes sense. <clears throat> 14 attack and dread. So that's good. That allows her to have something else to do other than spam this ability. Probably the right call, to be honest with you. And it's all minions, so it's actually very, very strong. You know, I, th I think I'm definitely going to do that. She'll also have the buff. Results. We'll get results, Iridus. All right, calm down. So let's go ahead and throw a brain in the old bumble here. I don't know what we want to do about this armor and these bones right now. We could give the bones to bumble, which I guess makes sense because it's power mob. And we could give the armor to our boy, but I think we just power up our main team with it, unfortunately. And I think it goes to the headhunter. Jedi's aren't going to be happy about this one. You, you know, make him the powerhouse that he deserves to be. Now, I don't know what to do at all with this character yet. Has decent crit. We could give a small amount of evasion, but it doesn't seem insanely good. These are 10 points to upgrade, so that's definitely not happening. And you only get plus one for it. The accuracy is actually already decent. You owe initiative, so you could try to get to go first. Okay. So what are baseline initiatives? Can we see that somewhere? Uh, seven, five, seven, six, four, seven, five, nine. Already nine, huh? I'm kind of thinking, what if we did like a boom, boom, because it gives two per, and then we get a boom, and then a bong, and maybe a bango, you know? And you know what? Get, get a little kachow in there as well. That's how you do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. Higher damage. This makes it doesn't miss. He's 15 luck. 15 crit hit strength. Other means get luck and crit strength. Okay. 20, 20 and other allies get 10, 10. Okay. So this expands it to one additional target, which actually gives it a lot more use, I think. And it's a buff? Wow, that's insane. I know this is just a buff. This just makes it one target, but high damage. I think let's make it two targets, or just the higher damage for two targets. My enemies are in for a nasty Target surprise. loses all arm and resist until the battle ends, ignores block. Makes it deal a lot of damage. All blocks and wards. But it no longer gets rid of armor and resistance. Okay, interesting. I think we go here so it's more useful as well. Give us up to 20 luck now. Uh, Alright, well, let's continue. We have one person pumped up from that squad. Increase damage by 10%. This minion can't be moved. For each unfilled squad slot, the minion receives 4 armor, 4 resistance, 14 attack, 14 dread, 4 evasion, and 6 accuracy. So, you're seeing yet another thing that I was talking about that would just go insanely well with our boy, right? The 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 guy who summons friends. Like, he would start out with 4, 8, 12 armor resistance, like plus 30 something attack, 30 something dread. What, 12 evasion and uh, extra accuracy? I, just, I don't know, man. I, it's so interesting, but I 
feel like we just need to go with something more generalized and potentially useful right now. Just because we aren't using him. If we were actively using him, I would maybe be more interested. And we'll just do this because I want to AoE spam with this guy since we just upped his attack by like a billion anyway. So now we have to make the decision, left or right. So we have um, random consumables, nothing, weird. I, a long stretch of nothing. Or we have a sacrifice for a consumable. And we have minions on either side. So it's just, do you want consumables or do you want to sacrifice? I think let's go consumables. I guess we could also see what fight is easier and neither of them look very easy to be honest with you. That kind of scares me. This unholy bones. What what Chima did I just get? Unlock the bone golem. Why did we unlock the bone golem? What? How did we unlock you, sir? And wh why are you here now? Another frontliner. This game has a fucking issue with making frontliners, all right? I don't want to hear it. Every single freaking minion is a frontliner. Go up. Like, straight up, every single minion is a frontliner. So, I think the Demolitions X has to go first, followed by the Doomsayer, followed by whoever else is left. Now, I think the demo is probably oh, scarier, but this guy is within reach, initially. So we can at least start to get some damage in. There's no sun up in the sky, bony weather incoming. Uh, sleep. Ew. That sucks. This is so tempting because just how much damage it is, but I think we stick to the plan and we focus one of the extraordinarily dangerous fuel down. Ooh. Wait, what'd that say? Every attack against the target is a critical hit. Oh, wow. That's pretty fucking scary. Now, will this get blocked or will this go through? I think we do, since he's about to attack and he normally AoEs, I think we start here. Get that debuff on him. Okay. Too bad. Don't need healing. Let's just get you either dead or close. Oh my god, that's a big hit actually. Alright, let's stick to the plan. Next in line is this gentleman. And he is gone too. Ugh, our HP on this guy. Absolutely. I don't think we need to waste the crit. What? Why did you go crazy? Like, I appreciate it, but it's a little surprising. Uh. Try it. Since he's already crazy, let's try to get you crazy as well. Go ahead and hit you with this just in case you do end up hitting us. Yo, nice crit. Fantastic. Already gone crazy. Damage dealt, but damage received is higher. Honestly, we're already here. If we were already in the front, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but we're here. to kill this man stress now one thing we do need to worry about is that both our wrath and our mana is like literally zero so i don't know if higher stress attacks have a higher chance of killing someone or not i don't think that's how it works but maybe it does I just don't know mr krabs i think it's just the darkest dungeon system where any any hit on your um on low hp yo another brain fantastic and more ear levels Oh, so, ooh, and a skull. Dude, 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 dude. Let's go. So we got the level 7 brain. Throw this and smuck him. If he only had a brain. Well, he does now. And we have a skull. And none of these people use skulls. So can someone in our main party use a skull? The answer is a surprising no. We only have one person right now who uses a skull. But we could try to make that bone golem and give him a skull. That's also an opportunity. So, the enemies on the chosen position and the next position in line switch to random positions. Or you can make it deal stress. Or they lose attack. That's actually pretty cool. 
All enemies lose initiative, evasion, and, accu and accuracy. And all allies gain initiative. Wow. Really good. This makes it bigger. It, it makes the enemy debuff bigger, but the friendly debuff smaller. I think the enemy debuff being bigger is probably the right play. Chance to instantly kill or more damage. Okay. Ooh, stun chance. It's actually kind of neat. 15% chance to stun the target. I wonder if it's 15, 15, 15, or if it's 15 once. If it's 15, 15, 15, that's incredible, right? Extraordinarily useful. Pretty sure we go the big one, and I think we go the 15, 15, 15. Because we, if we could do that and we could stun bosses, that would be sick. Oh my, okay, green boy. Smuckum, you're a green boy. Welcome to the green squad. Welcome to the dream cream team. Okay, so I'm actually thinking initiative might actually be pretty important on this character. And it's cheap, actually. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Because if we could get one of these off right at the start before a lot of enemies go, that would kind of be insane. I'm actually going to full commit to that. The accuracy is decent. The luck is whatever. Um, I don't... This is actually worth upgrading, but not really that much. And I kind of think if we're going to go this route, let's just give you some more damage get you slightly tankier. I'll give you this one point because it is valuable. And then, you know what? From there on, we'll hold on to a point because I don't know what I want to do yet. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's the right call, but it's interesting. So I'm a fan. All right. Let's see. Where do we want these talents? Are there any... Five additional mana does seem pretty good. Actually, I mean, here's another passive. We should probably just go for the passives initially. As uh, as we had been doing for a little bit there. That's kind of insane. Yeah, I think we stick to the passives. All minions and enemies gain 12 luck. Um, kind of interesting too. A little bit of passive healing. Wow, that's a lot of mana, but that is really, really powerful. But let's stick to this for now. I want to show you a little magic trick. Magic. Oh, we're one soul away from being able to make something else. By the way, but all right. Go see what we get here. I'm kind of tempted to take this team out. It's a little spooky. I really, really want this. A dunster has an additional 5% chance to kill everybody. Scores bigger every time they miss her. Increases crit damage dealt by it. I think we already have that, right? Like 99% sure we already have that. I'm going to go with the Dark Knight option. I am the knight. Yeah, you have that. Okay. I was just making sure. This is really, really good. Okay, so we have Doomsayer, Headhunter. Okay, that's another scary squad. It sucks because, like, I really want to take this team out, but I think we just wait till we get two more brands and we don't try to greet it out because I think greeting it out is going to be a big mistake for us. So this is pretty scary. They have so many things that we want to kill really quick. That's extraordinarily scary. Our Wrath is low. 40. Does go late. There's a chance we could get enough wrath to double AoE. But I think we just focus the Doomsayer first. I'm still not sure if this is the optimal thing to do. But it, it feels really... It just feels right. This guy hits like a truck, by the way. Sucks is uh, only two people can get affected by this, but... Getting those wards off is also not a bad, not a bad idea. 
Oh, that sleep really sucks. That's our person who knocks me out of stances too. So, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I know that he blocks it, but I think they always fine. Alright. So he has 34. It's not guaranteed to kill. Let's try to get a guaranteed to kill. There we go. So one one less super insanely scary thing to worry about. Now the issue here is who's the next most dangerous? It's probably the headhunter, yeah? The taskmaster being the least dangerous. I, I'm not sure. I, I'm going to go with the thought that the headhunter is the second most dangerous. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't think the ward would block it. That sucks. All right. Who are you going to kill? All oh, 30 on our tanky unit. That's the oofy McGoofy right there. Okay, we have a backup in case we don't kill this guy. We didn't. So I will commit to uh, the full kill of him. My kind of entertainment. I just think it's the right call. So both of their sanities are really high, but there's really nothing else she can do anyway. This. Please. So there's no way we're going to be able to kill him in one hit, so we should probably just go for her. Her sanity is technically slightly lower. Let's just go ahead and hit that. She also has a buff on her, so this will be more useful. That sucks. Guaranteed hit. Unfortunate. There. Let's really open that kill there. Uh, I'm going to attempt for the kill. Really? Maybe. I'll there we go. She died from the heart attack from the crit damage at least. Oof, a little scary there. I think I'm gonna save, even though it's kind of spooky. I think I'm gonna actually save. Stuff and probably good enough to kill you via um, just to kill you with basic attacks. But let's just get a little bit of mana while we can, cause why not? They get one more attack. Hopefully, it's nothing too scary. Fifteen. So much damage, my dude. At least it didn't move us. If it moved us and caused the extra damage, that would have been real bad. So our HP is really low. We might be forced to take out the secondary squad, whether we wanted to or not. Okay, we got another flask. We got more souls. Okay, we got another brain. We got a, three out of four people will have higher level at the very least. So maybe we can actually just make that work. And we'll give it to the infested because he's level one. Okay. And I usually upgrade this. I think this is just an insane ability. I normally like to have that thing where you strip armor from people. Since this is single target, you get four different chances of it with the infested. I find that super duper insane to me. Give you more stress because well you're gonna be using that quite a bit. Um honestly more luck is probably a really good call with you. And maybe some more evasion as well because I'm a little scared for your life. What? This is the one point, and what about you? That's also the one point. So our our obvious weak link here is our zombie. He only has one real attack he can do from here. I mean he can technically do two. Can we move people actually? Oh no, this isn't the move. This is the attack everybody. So we could start with stance and then just attack from there. Or we could spam stance. I don't know. There's nothing <clears throat> super duper valuable about our zombie yet. But he's what it is. All right, let's see. Where do we want to go from here? Okay, I think we definitely want to go from here. Hitting a really, really big attack right at the start just sounds right to me. Uh, I guess potential attack. Not necessarily a guaranteed thing that you'll get an attack, but we could make people skip turns for other stuff. I mean, yeah. 
So I do think we have to take on our secondary group. And if we're guaranteedly not... Dude, are you level... You're level 5 already. No, stay in there for a little bit longer. I want you at least 6 so you get your second thing. If we know we're not going to take this first group out, let's go ahead and get him in there so he starts healing. On can... I assume it's probably 50 to upgrade this. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it was something really low that we could magically afford, but... Nice. I'm pretty scared to take the squad out, man. Are you? What's this? Oh, it's a Reaper. O5 Reaper. Would it be more useful to bring you out is the question. Both these still move you forward. Whoa, that's sick. Wrath generation. Mana generation. Wow. Okay. And that turns out to a magic attack. Turns us to a bigger ignite. And mana. Honestly, let's move you out and you in. You have some stuff you can use. If we have to, you can attack. You have an ignite. We can buff up the damage of quite a bit. So you can either make it go more stress or, or ignite. We'll make it go Serve more ignite based. Well, Fortunately, that's all we can do for you right now. But we can give you some more attack. Matter of fact, we'll give you two into attack. These are expensive, but actually valuable. Five for four is not bad at all. Your initiative. Okay, your initiative actually goes up pretty quick. So we'll give you some of that. This just seems value. Anytime it's for one, it's kind of hard to turn down a one boy. Matter of fact, I'll just grab all the ones up. And you also don't use the skull somehow. <laughs> um, now let's see. Not this artifact. Do we have any single use things? We do. Because I don't know how how hard this next fight's gonna be. So. Um, something else I wanted to do real quick. Oh, five or lower. This is pretty much useless. Two people would get the buff of this. But I think we swap out for this now, and we just go with the less damage for two turns. And are we going to be moving people? That is very important to know. Apparently, the answer is a big fat no. Oh, uh, we could. You, you, we do get double for it as well, but I think him just attacking is going to be way more useful. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be moving as much. Imagine. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Um... Oh, wait, what? I forgot this is this. Oh, wait, that's a move too. Wait, what? Oh, that's whenever you just use a spell. Yeah, anyway, I'm crazy. Don't listen to me. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this. And do we want to spin this? I don't know if we actually want to spin Where's our next? Minions receive five evasion. Honestly, I'm going for that. Alright, and let's go try out a new team against people we don't know. Yay! I hope we don't die. If we do, I blame everybody. That's not me. We could just open up on that Taskmaster if we wanted to right now. So all armor and resistance. Okay, they don't have any armor resistance. You have resistance for no armor. So I think we just attack here. And I think, unfortunately, we can't get the one guy I want. So I think we do it this way. My lord, that's so much damage, my dude. Hide him. can't attack the guy I want, but I think we do definitely do this. The debuff. So, that's so good. God, that's such a good ability. Fortunately, if we move back, we can't use this. But I do think we do it. Bonk. You won't die to the thing unless it crits. I don't think it'll... Oh, wait. Did you just... Oh, that's stress. Wait, that's so close. No. Ah, whatever. Wasn't that bad. I believe... 
I believe you will die to the burn before you get to do anything else. Let's go ahead and knock this off. There's no sun up in the sky. Only weather. God, dude, the werewolf is a monster. Like, absolutely insane. For each 1% vigor and sanity that the target is missing, inflict physical damage. Maximum physical damage for 100% vigor and 100% sanity missing is equal to 800% damage at 240. So if he is at 50% life and 100%, so this would be 25% of that number. I'm pretty sure it'll kill, right? This never gets old. <clears throat> oh wait, what? That heals when you kill? Is that your passive? Hold on, what's your passive? When killing an enemy, the Reaper restores 10% vigor to itself and all minions. Not trigger when killing summoned allies. Wow. Each action invokes a feeling of terror to all enemies. Wow. Wow. Why do heck? Tempting just to spam this, dude. But it's up for one more turn, so let's just see if we can stun. No stun. That guy is insane in the membrane, though. Honestly. Let's just go for the box here. He in stance. Wait, are you already in stance? Okay, he's not in stance. He does, he's gonna deal a lot of damage, but he's not in stance yet, so. There we go, there's the stance we were talking about. Let's afflict the burn. Okay, it didn't. I didn't know how this was gonna work exactly, so. I'm happy to now know. All arm and resistance. You have no arm and resistance, but it, 16 times 2 is 32. This is 32 base. 18 times. So technically a slightly higher damage and a 2 chance to crit. Fortunately, this is a useless ability now. And he doesn't go twice before this guy, so I think we just need to go for the damage. Hey, there's that crit we were talking about. Fantastic. Instantly destroy an enemy that has less than 20% san sanity remaining and heal. Okay. Go damage. He stuns? Yo, sick. Super sick, actually. So, I I was just wrong. Um, I guess, as per usual. And this group is the craziest group of uh, units to ever exist. And they do everything right and nothing wrong. <laughs> So this will make it to where you die when your turn comes. It won't because the ward. I'm dumb. I literally did the same thing twice. Just mad at myself. Just disappointed. Nice crit again. Wow. So you have less. Let's see who can stun you. I don't know if it's 15, 15, 15 or it's a blanket 15 chance. Not sure. I think it might be blanket 15 because I feel like we would have crit. It's 45%. We've attacked three times. We've we've gotten one stun out of it. I guess 45 is still kind of lining up halfway decently. Makes sense, so. Really sure. But you got another turn. Bastard. Let's heal everybody. Oh my god, dude, it's so powerful. My will is a tide that will wash. Blood phantasm only. Each character attacking the blood phantasm receives. Ignition and deals 20 true damage each turn for three turns. Oh my god. Sometimes you just find some insane stuff. Character is so powerful, man. Such a strong lad. Okay, we will take you out and put the Banshee in for a spell. And we will go out on another adventure with our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I think we're just going to go mana here. And you know what? We are 59 minutes in here, but I'm not going to be that guy. We will fight the boss. So before we fight the boss, let's make sure we have all of our stuff up to snuff. 
Get our one-time use thing here. Uh, everything else seems to be in working order. I still don't even know how to use these potions. I, I, I like legitimately don't know how to use them. There's probably a button I'm just not noticing somewhere on the um, combat menu. Let's just try making one. How about uh, blood, bones, and a piece of meat? Might get something useful for sure. Moves all these from target minion and target restores 10 vigor. Okay. So let us go see how it works out. Maybe you'll die, maybe we'll win. The keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king, and the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was needed. But the undead cared not for the jingling metal, and for the man himself. They will have no need at all. So I have fought this guy, spoiler alert, but it has been a long time, so I don't really remember what's up with this guy. 33% chance to redirect any attack or debuff to an ally standing in front. Increase the initiative of all allies by the current round number. Oh, interesting. And cannot escape. And all these guys are summon units. This guy has like no HP. We could just like straight up kill him. Ability to move yourself to the front. I guess we could use a mana based ability to move you to the front because I feel like just the 12 but then again this is really good too honestly let's go with this first just useful good all around now do we just want to try to open up a can of whoop ass on this on this bitch like my brain is saying let's just hard ignore these guys and just get our our strong boy in the front to just literally annihilate everybody we can't hit him unfortunately with this we don't really want to kill these guys funnily enough but i guess we'll just deal something to you just to have you taking damage i guess Oh, there is a potion tab. Okay. Where is our... Did we not equip something? Yes, we didn't. I thought we equipped something that could get rid of that immediately. I want to use this. Guess we can at least get rid of this thing. Plus, this this is a good thing, because it'll curse all of them to eventually go insane to where they're less useful. So, it does work out. Well, speaking of going insane, it'll just make them all crazy immediately. Literally, wow, insane. By that, I mean... Actually, okay, shut up, me. Okay, he's buffed them with attack. Oh, that's fine. Let's keep this up. It's funny because we can only actually. <laughs> but how does this work? Four turns. Could we stack that? It didn't say we couldn't stack that. Can't hit you in the back. Oh, it has to be your cell phone. Honestly, let's just keep slapping. Oh, you can't even hit there? What? Ah, oh, come on. So do you still have the debuff on you? You do for one more turn. I think we can move you, right? Can. I think if we could move you, we'd be happy. So this says debuff. Oh, that sucks. But random positions could move him anyway, so let's try it. There we go. Beautiful. Him being moved is incredible. We do lose a bit of damage from our big hit in the back, but the fact that a lot more people are going to be able to attack, I think is going to be more valuable overall. Yo, really? Oh my goodness. 
Uh, somebody call a medic. Did go to the back, you bastard. Sun up in the sky, bony weather Damage is good. I think we have to use the redirect here no matter what, unfortunately. Can we? Yeah, we can. We just don't want our boy to die for nothing. I think that's a wise call. We could put the curse on him, and it's probably, I guess it's just the right call. It also has a, yeah, as we'll say, a much higher chance to crit because he buffed his own crit. So, you can use this from any position. As long as he stays in the back, it's fine. We could move up. But there's really no reason, right? I guess we could no it doesn't work on summons right not trigger on killing summons hey don't do that it's rude. they could have tried to knock him back and move him out of the stance but luckily they didn't oh. convenient misses i like how bumble's literally just an assassin for us I think we just protect him again, really. Like, Bumble's literally just the boss assassin. He, <laughs> we aren't doing anything else. Oh, you know, if this keeps up, I'll be Ooh. done the world ahead of schedule. Can't escape or become inspired. They can't become inspired. Interesting. Each round of combat, Eris can use an additional potion. That's interesting, too. At the start of combat, all enemies must pass a sanity check of one-time use. And we got a brain. That was pretty good. It was kind of scary when Bumble got hit so freaking hard. But, I mean, the fact that we have somebody who can just protect him it makes it not really seem that bad. Man, I'm thinking just, like, keep upping the Bumble damage. The Bumble damage is strong. It's really, really strong. His HP does scare me, and you can't increase his HP. That is just his HP for the rest of the game. And if he's going to be an Elite Slayer, maybe we do give him the claws. Let's start, let's start here, and then let's move around. Get up and get down and jump around. Honestly, this is incredible because every single time you upgrade this, you're upgrading this damage. And like this damage isn't incredible, but if you we keep upgrading damage, it should be eventually, right? Okay, so we have some buff here. Can stack, can stack. Initiative, accuracy, accuracy, crit. So it's more crit or more accuracy. Um, I think crit would be the way to go, potentially. Kind of interesting. If the battle went long enough and you could survive long enough, you could stack up a lot of stuff with that. Four turn curse, but weaker, and this is a two turn curse, but stronger. Then we just have damage that ignores armor or ignores block. I almost think we just go into crit. Really. I expect results. Already up to 28 crit is kind of insane to me. You know what? Just to see the pretty number. 32 now. So more ear to spell power or restore mana. The mana is very tempting because that means that you have a way to generate mana mid-combat, which is insane. The way to get mana or wrath. All buffs from the target. 
all buffs and now interrupts stances it, okay it always interrupts stances doesn't miss enemy becomes insane or inspired oh man that's kind of scary just straight up insane or ex expire but wait a second Enemies can't escape or become inspired. Are you telling me that I have a guaranteed way to make someone insane no matter what? My enemies are in for a nasty. Alrighty. Surprise. I'll give it a shot, Capitan. It sounds like an interesting idea. I think I want to save up five and go for the four and four. I think that's a pretty nice upgrade. I believe that, oh, I clicked out of the game. I believe that is our friend coming out of here. And we will read the intro to the next chapter. And then actually we'll also upgrade this real quick. Do we want to upgrade? Here it is experience after every battle. Um, Digger's souls, Anna. 45% chance to find a random part applies after victory. Could be good. Find a random artifact. That also sounds pretty good. I mean, honestly, it all sounds pretty great. So let me let me make sure. Is six where you get your secondary um level up? Yeah, okay. So we can leave you at six for now and we can throw somebody else in there. I'm actually thinking this blood phantasm since we got that um that upgrade. And I'm thinking go with the Iridus XP and we need another one of these boys. Click down the dang game again. I swore this was full screen. Crazy. I'm crazy. Okay. Uh, we'll mess with the Lich later. I don't want to keep you guys too much longer because we are a little over on time here. But this combo seems really, really good. What was it going to do? I can't even remember. I'm, I'm too excited. That. This. My Five blanket evasion seems good. Very foundations of this world. Was a basic shade banshee or wraith until the end of battle. Yo, that's so good for our Lich. We may look for that. I don't know. Wow. But uh, we said passives, you go for passives. Look for passives. The mana is technically a passive. Let's check the destruction. Okay, that's pretty good. I like the idea of getting um more wrath on misses but i feel like we prioritize accuracy quite a bit it was this target enemy loses 25 plus 5 luck until the end of battle if they escape air just receives a vampire after winning the battle interesting so you could try to force somebody to escape and get a vampire we don't have a vampire because oh well, we've never gotten one but i mean all these are good too oh there's luck I, we're going for the luck i think we'll go for the luck and then we'll go for the vigor let's start with the luck because it, it'll cost less the wheel becomes free. um but i do think that's the end of this episode uh actually no wait we were gonna see the Place. so let's go ahead and say hi the hunger and wealth had long since became the only virtue among the hardy dwarven folk gone are their ancient traditions along with the name of their ancestors for what was more powerful logic or some dead dwarf rotting away into dust their ruthless scientists and alchemists knew the answer to that question and the human kingdom was more than willing to facilitate their experiments they have grown rich and feared setting up their own enclave and become became the default overseers of the mines we are officially in the mines with the dwarves 
pretty freaking long one. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ear to Sword of the Dead. It went a little over, but I didn't want to leave you guys waiting, you know, foaming at the freaking mouth for the boss fight. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you love to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys with another video here soon. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And remember, have a wonderful day. Try your best. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.